We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you. I greet you in the wonderful, in the precious, in the holy, in the glorious name of Jesus. The name above all names. My dear friend, I want to speak to you about something that we all face in our lives and how to overcome it. And that is temptation. How to overcome temptation. Now, let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit and then I'll share with you from the Word. And I'll give you some keys from the Word that can help you to overcome temptation in your life. And to flee from those things which are against the will of God. Right now in your own words, wherever you're watching, welcome the Holy Spirit in that place. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit, take over control and help us to pray, help us to press in, and help us to receive from the Father even today. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the Bible says in the book of James chapter 1, from verse 13 to verse 15, it says, when tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Then, after desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Now, let us discuss and analyze what it is saying. It says, when tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. Why? It goes on and answers, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. The truth is, God does not tempt anyone. It is the enemy who tempts the deceiver, the liar. Just as he tempted Adam and Eve in the beginning, he is still tempting people to this day. It goes on and says, but each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. So ultimately, when temptation begins to come, it starts with the evil desire in your heart and that desire is stirred up by the enemy when the enemy whispers lies and he whispers certain things sometimes it comes across like an impression a sudden urge to do something that you know is wrong and that is how the enemy tempts that's how the enemy entices so it starts off with an idea and then that idea grows as you think upon it, as you entertain it. And then it becomes a desire. And once it's a desire, you become enticed by the enemy. Then, after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. So the ultimate way that you can overcome sin and temptation is by not entertaining the thoughts of the enemy. Or, if I had to put it in other words, casting down thoughts that try to exalt themselves above the things and the word of God. In other words, in layman terms, casting down those ideas, those impressions, to think of certain things, or to do certain things that you know are not right with God's word and to cast them down before they become a problem. It is so essential that we develop this as we mature in Christ so that we may grow and become strong. I'll read this scripture to you one more time and then let us go into a time of prayer. I want to pray for you that God will give you the grace that you will overcome every form of desire and temptation that the enemy is placing in your life. 
It says when tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desires and enticed. Then, after desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. In other words, if you continue in that sin, the ultimate end is a place where you are separated from God. The ultimate place that you end up when you continue in that sin is you go in a place where your conscience is seared and you are unable to tell that that which you are doing is wrong anymore. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by praising God just for a few moments and then we'll begin to pray. I'll pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. Father, we praise you and we thank you and we lift up your name even today. We glorify your holy name and we decree and declare you are the God who speaks and you live. We declare it boldly because you are our God and you have never failed us. You always make a way for us and you take us to a greater glory. I give you praise and I thank you, O God, for you fight for us, you deliver us, and you do what only you can do in our lives. You're the God who speaks and you live. And you open up the way for us, even as we trust you. We believe in your wonder-working power, and we believe that you can do what only you can do. And you touch us, you bless us, you heal us, you deliver us, and you take us to greater glories. Be lifted up and be magnified. Thank you for every day that we get from you to live and to give Christ glory. Thank you for everything that you do for us. Thank you for the times that we get in your presence. Thank you for every time that we can pray. Thank you for the times we get with our family and our friends. Thank you for the times with our loved ones. We give you praise and we thank you because we recognize that every new day is a gift. And every such moment, as I've mentioned, is so precious and it is also a gift. I give you praise and I thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now, as we begin, I encourage you to comment and agree and connect in faith as a point of contact. Where two or more are gathered in agreement, the Lord is there. And where two or more agree on a thing as touching, it shall be established. Also, if you know anyone who would need to hear this message, share it with them, so they too can be blessed. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Protect my dear friend from all forms of desire that leads to sin and ultimately leads to downfall. Deliver us, your children, from every form of temptation or suggestion by the enemy that is whispered in the atmosphere, that gives birth to desire or an idea that leads to desire and help us to break the chain of sin and temptation before it goes any further. Give my dear friend the grace to recognize what is of you and what is not and to be able to cast down those ideas before they come and bring about a huge problem in their life. I give you praise and I thank you for miracles, signs and wonders that you are still doing. You are still moving today. I pray that you will move in my dear friend's life and do something new, do something great, do something awesome and take my dear friend to a greater level and a greater glory. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.